impeded both sides, put players up, which was good to see. And that's an, uh, an improvement from the first half. Knock on from Waihe, unfortunately. Here we go, big cinch run there by Joe Murray, feeding it out to the uh, winger for the Waiho team. They're making some good inroads in the first minute or so into the second half. The uh, winger, uh, Dominic Gore, having the ball there. Number eight has it at the moment with another run back into the middle of the field there. Knocked backwards there by the uh, number 23, the new halfback that's coming for the Waiho team, Bonner. Obviously, uh, we're told there was a penalty because they were really forcing the passes there, weren't they? And uh, uh, if they hadn't known there was a penalty coming, they could have turned that ball over easily. So, uh, AJ Hartley signalling a uh, penalty right in front of the sticks. I think uh, Waiho are going to go for the scrum by the look of it. Prime attacking spot here, Reno, isn't it? Right in front, Waiho right should, in front, uh, yeah. Should take full advantage of this. Reset of the scrum again. Feed in by the halfback who's come on, Nathan Bonner. Whoop. As Keegan Lewis picks up from the back of the scrum, running towards the line now. So it looks like a score into the corner there by Waiho. We'll see them uh, get the uh, add of five points onto the board. Yeah, powerful run there by uh, the, the recently uh, changed uh, player, Keegan Luden. You mentioned him in uh, the build-up to that mm. try. Uh, Thames Valley squad member. Rather tall. Good player, actually. So why he'll be a bit disappointed with that... Uh, Seeding that try so soon after half time. So they'll need to regroup Reno and uh, look look back and go back and settle down into their systems and have faith that they work. Um, it's worked in the past and obviously they just need to, a little bit rattled, I think, why he, maybe the heat's got to them, eh? Might be, might be the why he heat, eh? No, and the beach is just down the road as well. It is at the kicker for Waiho, Ryan Waite. Let's see if he's going to get one over the uh, crossbar coming up. So preparing from his most probably favoured side, his right hand side there and we're going a bit of time and won't put the commentators curse on him. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't happen. Uh, Didn't no, have enough legs there, Ross. No, no, he, uh, I'm not a goal kicker so I don't know the technicalities of kicking but uh, it looked like he uh, went underneath that ball. Maybe uh, didn't have the power and the, the, the kick. But a well taken try, well worked, straight after half time, five minutes into the uh, second half, and uh, it'll be a bit of a battle now to, for why he they'll need to dig deep. And make sure they Slow walk back for Waihe actually to the halfway. Uh, Max kind of adjusting himself, getting himself ready for the uh, start of the game. Looks like uh, someone's going off for Waihe. Looks like the young man from the wing, Tyler Turnbull, uh, having a rest for the remainder of today's game. So his day at the office is done. Max getting ready to uh, kick the ball of Max Witty Hunter. 
from the centre. We're back into play again. Well, he's starting the second half again with a good run. He move out the back line as they feed it out. Once again, they need to hold on to the ball. Yep. Don't force the pass. They've got control. They just need to build the phases. And uh, you've got to admire a lot about uh, the Waiho defence here. They're working very well. And there we go. The mistake there from which should, should have been a simple catch. Pass was good. Nothing wrong with the pass. Just the execution of the... Uh, Hands in front there for Brad Nightingale to uh, grab the ball. Just a little simple knock on. We've seen a few of those today in the uh, first half. And yeah, and I, I think you've got to admire what uh, Joe Murray and Guns and those guys in the back line are doing. They're running up together, putting the pressure on. You only need to look up yep. once and the ball's out of your hands. So um, well done to the uh, Waiho defence, putting that early pressure on the ball catcher. He's had a good game, the number 15 for Waiho, Craig Cowley today with a good strong run there. Out to the wing, is he going to fend off Max Hunter? It looks like he goes into the uh, corner there, a try scored by Kane Burns. Well Ooh. constructed try, wasn't it? Uh, ran the gap, um, good passing, everybody passed when they should have and ran the gap really, really well. So let's look at it in replay here. Uh, you know, you can see them running the gap. He's putting the winger away, drawing the player. And at, yep. right at the right Simple time, draw and pass. Draw and pass, running straight in. You can't uh, beat that. Numbers will always, the ball will always beat the, the player if you run straight and pass at the right time. Very well constructed try. And uh, you can see the experience, can't you, Reno? Totally. The, uh, the knowledge in that back line with, with Guns McCann and uh, Joe Murray and the, the like. And those uh, fullback, I'm very impressed with. Had a good game, has Craig Cowley today. He's hitting the back line at the uh, right speed as well, the right timing. And like you say, with Guns and Joe in the back line there as well, it makes it look good. And look, a great conversion. The flags went up and he's jumping with Joe. He finally got one. You'd think they won the final already. The way he's jumping around is Ryan Wayne is going, yeah. It was one a long out time of, coming. One out of five or something like that for today. But he's got one. He's happy. Why well, he is struggling to get their heads up at the moment. They are uh, feeling the effect of those two quick tries and uh, they'll need to bounce back. So they've got to dig deep, go back to the uh, what they know well and uh, get the kickoff set and get the chases in and make sure they get the ball back as soon as possible. Here we go, guns running hard up the middle as well, running into Mears. Mears makes a tackle on the just over the halfway line and here comes another quick delivery out to Murray. Sees the gap, he's got a head of steam up at the moment. It's Joe Murray, look at that, eh? They found a bit of confidence as the Waiho team in the start of the second half. Out from Bonner, out to the uh, prop there. Nightingale, no, no, uh, as Az Keegan Lewis, Keegan Lewis taking Keegan the ball Lewis up strong. strongly there, Reno. Very good counter well run from Waihee, wasn't it? Uh, came well over the ball and stole it back. That was uh, well done by Waihe and not so good bomb uh, Waiho. Uh, but they've maintained pressure, but there's a penalty coming for Waihe. Great run there by uh, Joe Murray. Um, the current Heartland, one of the current Heartland coaches, coaches out there. We won't let everybody know his age, but that's okay. Playing like a spring chicken he is. <laughs> Here we go, look, tap and run.
ball in hand is what's leading why here down at the stage on a nice little short play but just couldn't control the ball there to the disappointment of dylan horn upset with himself he's the captain as well so not going that great at the stage for uh, the Waihe team in the start of the second half here. Three changes here coming we go. on here. Here comes out the roll at changes. So Case Burns going off at the moment as well. Uh, we have the likes of... Uh, Stephen Greenville going off as well, and even Adam Harder by the looks of it. So those are the three changes from the current players from the star team. Coming onto the field is Craig Bedford, Reese Manning. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Some, some more handbags going on in the front row. Yeah, oh, how's your father going on? Look. <laughs> Maybe that might fire the Waihee boys up. I don't think so. Nobody's got the energy in this heat to uh, keep going with that. Uh, Brad Nightingale taking ob objection to uh, something that's happening in the scrum. I'm not surprised, actually, uh, the number two for Waiho wasn't amongst that. He's uh, been a bit fiery since, obviously, his sin but at this stage talking to the prop for the Waiho team. So looking like they want the ref wants AJ Hartley to settle down at the moment. Let's get into the game of rugby. It's finals footy. We still have another... 30 minutes ago. Yes, I, uh, Reno, like you, uh, front row play, uh, you know, little things can upset some of those big fellows in the front row, can't they? And they seem to uh, do a bit of push and shove and then they uh, settle down and re-scrum again as best mates. So uh, let's hope it doesn't affect the, uh, the game too much. Into the uh, scrum there by Bonner, getting ready to feed out to uh, Waite. And it's going to move on out to Murray there. Big rung fend off there on Mears. Good strong play by Murray. Good ball and tackle and ball. Tackle by uh, Dylan Horn there as well. Reno, you can see the uh, experience of uh, Joe Murray yeah. and the experience of Guns McCann coming into play with the uh, running the gaps, running the angles and just breaking the defence um, quite easily there. So why he will have to tighten that up if they're going to keep in control or stay in touch with this game. Um, gaps are being created quite easily. Great kick. I thought Mears might have been jumping with joy when he got that kick over the sideline there on halfway here at the uh, rugby park in the Waiheng. Finals day. Tens Valley Club Rugby Finals Day. Two more games coming to you live at 1 o'clock and then at 3 o'clock this afternoon thanks to the uh, major sponsor of today as well, Leeches. Uh, quarry men and construct, con, constructors as well. Out to the Wahi back line, out to Mears and into Horn, who's now playing at uh, number 12. Started at number 6 for today, but with the injury and a changeover, he's moved out to the back line. Uh, Curtis has it a half, uh, takes a good tackle there, and now they're going to keep the ball rolling on. Williams taking the big charge there. Wide pass here by Mears out to the centre for Waihe. Moving out wide to Woody Hunter. Max Woody Hunter with a good strong run. Breaks a couple of tackles here as well. Inside pass just about there. And looking like over to the sideline. So good defence by Waihe. Good attack there by the fullback Max Woody Hunter. Yes, you've got to admire what why he did well there. They maintained the ball in this area just in front of us here, Reno, and uh, kept it up, rock and rolling right and left, three, four, five phases, and then went wide. So they did the work before the ball mm. went wide and uh, paid dividends. Uh, good to see that somebody's got the message out to them and to settle it down and just tighten everything up. Why he'll be asked to defend here uh, and catch the ball first, but they've got a very big tall line out. Oh, oh, that was misplayed and knock on, knock on there. 
opportunity lost. He thought his Christmas was coming was Mark Baker. Rolling subs at the moment, looking like a change, another change for Waiho, the number eight, who's had a good game today, Max McGahn. Very, very strong game today from the number eight. With Brad Mitchell coming on to the park there to replace him. And I would guess that it's just about the whole bench being emptied out for the uh, Waiho team in this final. Important scrum here. They wouldn't want to let Waihe back into the game. Waihe a pretty fit side, so uh, Waihe will be looking to clear this. I'm not sure they well, they may be set up for the kick. Who knows? No, they're going no, to they're run, it. run it. Here we go. They've been running it like they've been running it all day, Ross. And look, wait, runs it up there at first five, right to the middle of the field there, right in front of the uh, goalpost. Bonner rips it back out, delivers it out to his very, very strong forward pack there. Is that a good run there by... Aisla B as well at the at the prop. Coming with confidence at the moment too is the Waiho team and they're running it out. Yes, you've got to admire Waiho's their endeavour and their uh, preparedness to run the ball is uh, great to see. Um, they're certainly uh, running directly and uh, certainly maintaining a bit of uh, go forward. So it's a very good decision. It's not necessarily... Um, what your big tight forwards uh, want to see all the time, but they are working hard and uh, delivering ball on the plate to the backs. So uh, Nathan Bonner is clearing it, and there's obviously uh, Reno good communication amongst the Waiho team, and they're uh, doing their best to uh, continue to show this endeavour to run the ball all over the place. So good on them. Helps to have that experience in the centres, of course. Who's that, Joe? Mm. Not going to find the touch here by Joe Murray, um, bouncing it. He'll be unhappy with himself with that. Here comes Max Witty Hunter running to the middle at halfway, looking to set up the ball there. Bounce through a couple of tackles. Liam Curtis out to uh, Conrad Williams. And a good strong run there by Matthew Hart off the Baker. Kenny control it, Dylan Horn, but I would guess the referee's playing advantage here. And out to the number 22, he's going to cut back in. He can see the try line in front, and he gets it over the line. Does Dylan 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 Bellamy uh, scores himself a uh, try there as well? A good attack run. Great uh, try from Waihe, and uh, loved their work. Once again, the rock and roll, both sides of the ruck, they were putting up runners, forward runners, quick ball, and then uh, did three or four phases, maintained the ball, and then sent it down the uh, out, out amongst the backs. Young Dylan Bellamy, uh, young player from Waihe College in recent times, great basketball player too, apparently. Um, good try, had a bit of work to do, stepped off the uh, left foot and uh, had to beat three defenders there right on the goal line and he slammed the ball down with great control so that'll get them a little bit of confidence yep. and uh, Reno and make uh, pick them up a little bit with uh, just on over 20 minutes to go in this game Ruben Mears nails it down the middle there as well. he's been practicing those all morning I think he's a bit more happy with them with that kick and uh, adds on another two points so I'd be very happy with that noticeable as well that the uh, AR Stu Pinney went onto the field to have a talk with the uh, referee Waiho did complain in that move uh, might have been a knock on there by the Waihe captain Dylan Horn but hey we don't have the old big screen here to show the replay and assess all that we have no one up in the top box I suppose you could have come over to us and had a look at the replay on our little screen but Hey, the uh, points are up on the board, and it's 27-18 at the moment with the kickoff there by Ryan Waite in the middle. We'll get play underway. Great catch. Great catch there by the Waihe team. Um, good pressure from Keegan Lewis. Oh, unlucky. There we go. The hands have led him down. The uh, number 13, Ethan Seymour. Sorry, uh, Max Smith. Uh, for Waihe. He'd be upset with himself because things looked good there uh, with the attack by Waihe. 
Yeah, I think uh, Reno uh, why he have got a little bit of a lift out of that try. Yep. Uh, they were in touch with the game. Why he, uh, you know, not nine points behind penalty converted try. It's looking uh, looking good for them. But why are in the right field position? And once again, in finals rugby, you've got to have the exit strategies at hand to get, to, uh, get out of your 22 before you turn the ball over. And why put the pressure on and turn the ball over? Why he made made a mistake and why he have accepted the scrum. Scrums, they take up so much time in the modern game. <laughs> Unfortunate. Got to say, the crowd behind us intrigued, just staring at the game. You on the field there as well, the locals here supporting the Waikiki team. Uh, got the grandstand from the supporters from Whangamata, red and white dynamite, big sign there as well. As they run it up in the middle, does the Waiho team. Looking Waihi strong working, middle, hard, working hard, yes. Yeah, working hard at the turnover and, and got it back. Bit of a resurgent here from Waihi. Great pass. Good pass out there. He's going to put the wheels on here, looking like he's... Uh, He'd have to go to the penalty too because uh, Woody Hunter, who was making a good run there for Wahid, the fullback, was dragging on their defence players as well who were coming across and pulling them back and might have been just frustrated because uh, he's one quick man as Max Woody Hunter, but obviously the fullback uh, showed his pace Craig Kelly for Waiho to get across the end of the defence. Joe Murray just lined up the sideline. Yeah, and it's, it's again, you know, maintaining the ball. Too easy to give it away like that. Um, you know, they could have taken the tattle, tackle, stay on your feet, and wait for the, the troops to come up and support. So great defence from Waiho, and uh, Waihi will have missed an opportunity there. But uh, opportunity to come back now and steal a line out, which they've done. Ryan Waite, the uh, first five for Waiho, slowly making his way back into the uh, onto the right side there after being injured in the uh, previous play as well, knee to the back. Liam Curtis feeds it out to Mears into the inside into Jordan Crawford with a good strong run there. So Curtis out to Mears again, out to the centre. Great defence there on uh, young Mark Everson. Took a good tackle there, ball and all, drove him over the touchline. Bit of a fight come, fight back, isn't it, from Waihi? Showing a little bit of, uh, ooh. Players are going out and then players are coming in, so who knows what's happening in the line out here. Oh, Bluey, Conrad Williams knocked the ball on there, but a great line-out steal just before that, Reno. Um, young Mark Everson got in front of the opposition jumper, got up, good delivery of the ball, and then uh, um, one of our veterans... <laughs> how how many years has he been playing, Conrad? Well, you know, we won't mention ages. We just <laughs> It's great to see him still trudging around and uh, putting uh, the, the, the kit on when you have to. Bonner feeds it out to wait there from the scrum. Big pass, pass out to uh, Joe Murray with a kick. And it got charged out by Dylan Horn. Unfortunately, the bounce didn't go the way of Horn there as well. And uh, Waite kind of got himself in a bit of a situation there. Goes in the tackle, feeds the ball back to his... Uh... The advantage at the moment. So it's going to be a penalty by the say, by the look of it.
Oh, good back, good pass here out to the uh, fullback who's had an outstanding game as Cowley, number 12, McGann. Guns is running up the middle there. Back to Guns again from Cowley. Uh, looking like an inside, but the number nine had something to say about that was Liam Curtis to take the ball down on the tackle. But unfortunately, no one there to uh, support the little halfback for Waikie and picked up by Guns there. Well done, but obviously a penalty. Reno, I uh, just got a comment about that breakout from Waiho. Great running by backs, running at tight forwards. Uh, the big popos in the front row from Waihe. Um, that's what you got to do off ruck ball, even if it's in your 22. Um, good breakout from Waiho. Good tap and play there by Bonner at half into uh, number five, Tim Ursik, who's uh, had a good game, by the way, today. And settling up there right smack there in the middle in front of the goalpost is Waiho. And offside of Waihe. Bonner wants to play the game, but not on the right spot by the looks of it. Gets a little, um, small little tackle there by the Waihe Athletic player as well, Dylan Horn, the captain for Waihe today. So they're offside there, Waiho. They're looking like they're going to assess it and do a scrum. So uh, AJ Hartley, ref, has uh, decided a scrum. Time off at the moment. Uh, was something going on at this stage, I would guess, uh, with the Waihe team. Dylan Hall, the captain, coming up to address a few things there as well. So just time off might be a, a bit of breather. A bit yeah. of a breather for the uh, Waihe players, it's, or both teams, actually. It's interesting, isn't it, um, you know, Waihe persisting to give away penalties. They just need to take a big breath and take that half metre back off the rucks and uh, just keep their discipline because I think um, they're just making it a little bit easier for uh, the midfield of that Waihe combination of Joe Murray and Guns McCann. They are, uh, it's uh, difficult when you give away penalties in front of your post. So uh, they'll just need to have a little calm leadership moment and somebody get down there and calm everybody down and uh, get out of this defensive position. Good strong scrum there from Waikie. Pushed a bit too early I would guess and there we go uh, running up as the Waiho team at the moment. He's had a strong game coming on as well as Keegan Lewis showing quite strong since uh, coming up there. Look the big busting run there by the prop there for Waiho with Craig Bedford uh, running up there and setting down the play back to um, Tyron Little, he's uh, running towards the uh, middle of the uh, post there, is uh, out to the number five, he's having an outstanding standing game, Tim Ursik as well for Waiho, just settling things down there with Bonner at half at the moment, there goes the hooker, Sammy running up to the middle, right there smack again as you can see on the live stream in front of the post, and it's going to go out wide there with Ryan Waite, is he going to get a try? Not quite, penalty coming up there for Waikiki. Holding once on again, to the ball. Once again, Reno, Waiho had everything going yep. for them. Got impatient. Um, they just needed to rock and roll perhaps for one more phase and then uh, let it go wide. But they'd done all the hard work, hadn't they? And uh, impatient, I suppose, and the penalty lets the uh, pressure off for Waihe. Waihe uh, are right in this game. And so, uh, you know, they, they, they need to get... Uh, they have to work hard. There's just over uh, or under 15 minutes to go and... Uh, well, there's not, there's under, just over 10 minutes to go. So they've got to get a try in the next three or four minutes. And this looks like a plethora of Waihe players yep. coming on. So we're going to have the likes of uh, Christopher Vai coming on there in 21. I would guess that's both benches emptied out now as the ball gets ready to be thrown in there by Jordan Crawford, hooker for the uh, Waihe team there, just adjusting his line at the moment Why, why while Waihe uh, sorts themselves out as well. And the uh, veteran uh, playmaker and part of the coaching team as well, Ruben Mears, has uh, gone to sit down on the bench. Um, David Carey, number 20, Carey has come on for... Uh, why he it's his 206th game for why he wow. um, he's a veteran but uh, he wasn't going to play this year but he's been roped back into it like all good rugby players you never hang up the boots and uh, he's out there now at, at lock and uh, I only know him as uh, nowhere <laughs> so his name nickname is nowhere and everybody in why he knows him as nowhere and when you say David Carey I go who who so uh, he's a great servant of the game here in the why club From way down to, uh, there we go, nice little move there from Joe Murray. Moving into a little small pass here. They're taking a bit of control here. Has Bonner out to wait. And they're moving into the prop, having a big, strong game, bouncing off and settling um, the ball here. 
is the number three for Waiho. Mona into it a lot stronger now. But we see uh, Keegan Lewis going very, very strong at the moment, running forward towards the Waihe. Wanting to keep the ball in hand is Waiho at the moment. As it rolls out and goes towards the Waihe benefit, and then we see Jordan Crawford uh, running through with Dylan Horn picking up, but I think a slight little knock on there by the hooker for Waihe. Once again, a good break out there by Jordan Crawford, but uh, turned the ball over, knock on. Not sure if that, I'm, I'm not a referee, so it looked like it was ripped out by a Waiho player, but that's okay. That's a good skill to develop. Um, I must uh, say, Reno, the pace of the game sort of slowed a little bit, hasn't it? And uh, I suppose it's the summery conditions here in Waihe. The sun's out, there's no wind at all, and there's not much cloud cover. So it's perfect conditions for running rugby. And there's only uh, just over 10 minutes or under 10 minutes to go. So they'll be uh, looking for a frantic finish to this game. And both sides have uh, got to keep uh, endeavour their endeavour up. Um, I think they've run out of reserves on both teams. I'm not 100% sure. Waterboys are delivering water boys, a lot of yep. water at the moment. <laughs> here be a few tired boys uh, rolling out into uh, nearly 70 minutes of this final here at Rugby Park in Waihe. Look, uh, crowdless game, no spectators, but they are around the outsides of the enclosed venue. Some are on scaffolding stands who come from Whangamata to be part of the uh, Red and White Dynamite. Then you've got the locals who are up behind the fence as well enjoying the day. But to all of you who are watching the uh, live stream, hope you're enjoying this. Something different of a uh, Tens Valley Club Rugby Finals Day is always uh, people are familiar with the finals hosted at Rhodes Park. Alternate is uh, Boyd Park over in Te Aroha as well. But Waihe in Waihe uh, would have been in uh, Rhodes Park, but because of the closed venue, uh, monitoring of the crowd as well while we're here live streaming today's three finals. We're in the first final. The score at the moment, 27-18 to Waiho over Waihe Athletic. About 10 minutes or so to go as Bon has got the ball getting ready to feed the scrum here and we get back into general play. Good hands here by Wade into the experience of the two centre pairing there for Waiho. Guns, big strong run up the middle. At the breakdown is obviously uh, Murray feeding into the forwards, running up straight smack into the uh, Waihe team. Great tackle there by uh, number eight, Matt Hart for Waihe. Um, but a penalty given away. Ooh, but he dropped that ball. Waiho building an attack down the uh, right-hand side here, threatening the line. So they'll be trying to maintain the ball and uh, build pressure. David Carey falling off the tackle there. Could be a try here. Uh, is the ref going to blow? Is it a try? Is it? It's a knock on. Knock on. It's a knock on by the uh, winger for uh, Waihu who's come on to the team as well. In the corner there. Right in front of a uh, good bunch of local people up there on their house watching the game on their oh, on their I'm back very deck. Impressed with the number of people that are sneaking a view over the fences and off the deck, but uh, try lost there. Uh, should have been a try in the corner. Obviously, a little knock on when he was uh, trying to force the ball. But uh, why her at the right right end of the field and building the pressure, and why he need to get their hands on the ball and uh, gain some field position. They might have a break out here. I see young. Uh, Adrian Holmes is taking off a jersey. Maybe he's not going on. He's just pretending. Picture bod, you would love to be out there, eh? Looking like a bit high. No. I think the uh, Waiho uh, Waiho bench are starting to uh, celebrate. Maybe slightly early, but you never know. I think they've got control of this game. One more one more try would put it away, but. Uh, and lots of things can happen, but Waiho have certainly uh, dominated in the last 20 minutes. Good, good steal there by Waihe uh, in the middle of the other line out. He's been playing outstanding. Here we go, the kick. Very rare with the kick in it, but it looks like uh, Max Witty Hunter, who's kicked that out, has pulled himself a bit of an injury on his leg. He's uh, dropped to the ground for a little bit there. I have to uh, compliment uh, Waihe line out there, getting in front of the uh, number four jumper or number five jumper for Waiho. Getting up young Mark Everson and uh, stealing a very important ball there, but uh, Waiho have still got field position just uh, inside the 22. In a change for Waihe, Matthew Hart, who's had end outstanding. 
outstanding game today has uh, seen Manaya Marsh come running onto the field. Now I would guess uh, that's both uh, benches emptied out. He's had a great game today, has uh, Matthew Hart. Oh, nearly intercept there from Josh uh, Lonergan. It would have been a good run down the sideline there, but knock on by him, unfortunately, for the uh, young man there for Waihe. Waihe are spreading the ball pretty quickly, yep. aren't they, and uh, stretching the defence. Um, so their plan's working. They've got a lot of control in the midfield and making some good decisions around Joe Murray and Guns McCann and uh, feeding the outsides, hard-working wingers and uh, fullback. So the defence for why he have, have to work really hard and stay connected. Running to the line there was uh, Waite and into Murray. Nice short pass, and he's uh, gone straight under the post, just showing the dominance of the, uh, well, three in the back line there with uh, Waite, Guns, and also uh, Murray as well. The experience just showing through there. Once you saw Waite pick that ball up from Bonner, run towards the line, she was a hard ass for the defence line from Waihe. So five more points added to the board, 32-18. Uh, great running there from the backs. So ran the inside gap, delayed pass. Perfectly executed, and uh, as it happened, a pretty simple try, but well executed off uh, first phase, Reno. And a simple shot in front of the yeah, post, which say, he'll be happy. So he'll be happy, he'll be <laughs> celebrating again, I reckon. He might be. He's had a bit of a horror day, but I'm sure you'll get this one over. He which took his time. He'll <laughs> be relieved. <laughs> He's happy. It's been a great day of rugby here with the first final today. Look, the weather's turned out to be nice. There was a bit of rain around early hours or overnight, but blue sky, put a cloud, and we've got two more exciting finals of uh, Tens Valley Club Rugby coming your way, 1 o'clock and also at 3 o'clock as Woody Hunter bounces on the halfway line, gets ready to uh, start junior play again. Forward pass, unlucky, unlucky. He's had a strong game since coming on. Has uh, Keegan Lewis and uh, nearly got guns away. Guns thought, well, it's Christmas. It was Christmas. He got a good pass, but it was forward. And uh, then Keegan did the uh, referee, AJ Hartley, a bit of lip and disagreed and asked him to go and look at the TV screen. But uh, AJ Hartley just pinged him for um, talking back, which was uh, not necessarily what he wanted, but a uh, marginal call from here. Um, but I'm not the touch judge, and I'm certainly a long <laughs> way away, and I'm half blind. So it looked like it was forward to me, but I'm not going to say it was forward or not. Why well, here trying to get back into the game? Young Erickson's got a lot of line out ball. E Everson, sorry. Um, Mark's done really well in the line outs, off, both off uh, Why he's ball and the opposition ball. Building a little bit of pressure here. Liam Curtis going nice quickly. Tap, yeah, quick tap. Conrad Williams. Taking the ball up. Oh. And here we go, offside. Someone's in trouble here, I would say. Our referee's just about had enough here. Yeah. So he's calling them Could out. Yellow. Referee uh, AJ Hartley just laying down the law, and uh, they'll be lucky to get away uh, without a yellow here. I saw his hand go in the pocket, but maybe he's going to talk it out and they'll accept his decision. Looks like uh, no yellow card. Looked like they were coming up offside pretty quickly there to me, Reno. But as I say, I'm not a referee. <laughs> and Guns, too, having a good talk there to the ref as Waihe get prepared to uh, get set for their play as well. And the uh, penalty to Waihe. Tap, here we go. Crawford running hard up there, but held up high though. Look like Waihu want to hold up, but he's gone to ground, which is doing the right thing. And unfortunately, the ball has been turned over, and it will be Waihu. I think they might have picked the wrong guy there. Waihu might have should have gone to uh, Williams, and 
But you can't turn it around. It's counting down the time, three minutes to go in this first final here at uh, Waihi. Yes, I, I think Waihi made a little bit of an error there and uh, tried to rumble it up. Perhaps, you know, they needed to uh, maintain the ball. I've said it all game, but uh, turnover. And uh, Waihi should clear from here. Let's hope they have a crack at running it. Good, strong scrum. Well, why he there? Just while we're getting ready to set the scrum, it's good to see the uh, two teams for the next final title uh, in Coromandel. Uh, all setting up and getting prepared for their big final. These two teams have been dominant in the Senior B competition. This will be a great final. Look forward to that. So just letting all the families know they're here and ready to uh, get ready to rumble at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Well, he put on another, another good scrum, scrum. Tight head. Nightingale with a big strong scrum there from the tap. Curtis is going to pass it up here. Big Conrad. Conrad's got the ball there. Good layback there for Curtis and uh, Crawford running strong. Gets stopped there by a good defence by the Waiho team there. Curtis out to Horn. He's going to have a go himself. The little half back there running strong towards the line and he passes it into the centre, but I think he looks like he's knock on. Come up short to the line has uh, Max Smith, unfortunately. Knock on, but obviously held on to it and the referees turned it around and penalty to the Waiho team. Once again, great endeavour, wasn't it, from Waihe? Throwing the ball around and uh, just spilling it at the last seconds there and then somebody coming offside or playing the ball on the ground. So discipline letting them down a little bit but uh, you got to admire what they're trying to do and get those points on the board half a minute to go in the game 30 seconds so uh, i'm sure guns will kick it out and uh, they'll look to i know joe murray kicked it out and they'll look to uh, get the ball back and just maintain it till full time Waiho look to uh, build up a few phases to clear the, their uh, red zone. Oh, it's been turned over. So uh, disappointing for Waiho. They could have just played time there, rock and roll at both sides and played out the clock, but they uh, made a mistake. So uh, Waiho have one last chance. Somebody's giving a bit of lip to AJ, yep. so he's marched them up 10 metres. Makes it slightly easier, but uh, they won't let, uh, I'm sure Waiho won't want Waiho to score. Nice steal there from the uh, number two. He's had an outstanding, very physical game for the Waiho team as well. Gunters come out again to have another chat there with the referee for today. AJ Hartley, so I uh, just obviously tell him not far to go, mate. Just control the team, control the game, and now uh, we'll get there. It's a penalty to Waihe. They're going to scrum it. They've called for the scrum. Obviously, they want to try and get over uh, the try line to do it um, for the host venue of the day for their club here as well for Waihe. And they want to get the last meat pie of the day as the other two teams are preparing uh, up on the training field for their final at 1 o'clock, Coromandel Tairua. So coming to an end of the uh, first final today uh, well, between Waihe and Waihe. Waihe got a chance here. Time's up, minute into full time. So there'll be uh, one chance, I'm sure... Uh, They'd like to finish on a high, as you say, get the meat pie, the last one. But uh, good position. They just need to maintain a bit of depth in their back line and not creep up too much. And equally so, Waiho, I'm sure, will defend with all their, their worth. Uh, they're going to go for good, the pushover. Good, strong, strong pushover. They're going to go for it. 
This will be interesting. Great control. Some of the locals Scrum's earlier on have gone down, down penalty, penalty try, here. Surely. It'll be a penalty try. They were close to getting a penalty try before. Some of the locals here may have called a penalty try earlier. Oh, no. He's uh, rushed. Oh, he's got it. No, he hasn't got them. I thought he'd got I thought the little halfback had got it yeah. then, too. He dived in there, and I thought, okay. That's, they're really on the goal line setting here for this last try, so not sure what will happen. And uh, yes. Finally a try in the corner there, I would guess, to uh, number 14 for Waihe, Josh Lonergan. He's uh, finally got a try now. We only said it a few seconds ago, Waihe get the last say, I would guess, at this game. Get the last move high, 23-34 uh, at the moment with the conversion to come from out wide. I'm guessing Dylan Horn's going to take the kick with Rob Messon on the bench at the moment. Dylan's got the ball at this stage. Oh, no. They're waving out to you, Ross. Go and take the kick. Uh, I'm not sure my uh, my knees would allow me to do that. But, uh, <laughs> no, willing willing encounter. Um, Ruben, Ruben's gone, so somebody might take the kick. I'm not sure who. They must I think it's Dylan. Looks like Dylan oh, Horn. Dylan, yeah. Dylan's going to take it. Willing encounter. It's great to see why he hang in there and get that last meat pie, as you say. But uh, all congratulations to Waiho. Uh, they uh, had just a little bit too much power in the midfield, um, in my opinion, and the forwards were pretty evenly matched. But the experience of uh, yeah. Guns McCann and Joe Murray certainly uh, added a little bit to their control, and they were able to take the opportunities. Goal kick wasn't, uh, wasn't over, so... Uh, the score remains 23-34 to Waihe. Waiho. Uh, Waiho, sorry. <laughs> My bias may come <laughs> bias out. Apologies. Out yeah, Waiho. Hey, uh, congratulations to uh, Waiho. All these supporters who are back home, they're watching, watching wherever they may be, the club rooms, at home, at work, on their smartphones, computers, televisions, uh, anywhere around the country, uh, all Waiho supporters of the Rugby and Sports Club, let alone overseas as well. You are the deserved winners of the uh, Patrons Cup uh, in the senior division game that was played this morning, kicked off earlier at 11. A couple of big games there as well, plenty going on. So uh, as we say, it's all about the awareness, uh, the close venue here. And already we see a couple of the ladies from the uh, Tens Valley Rugby Union uh, out there cleaning down the uh, pads out there as they would do. And it's just one of those things. I uh, hope you enjoy the live stream. Thanks to uh, CTES live streaming. Uh, doing a wonderful job here as well. As always, uh, streaming all of the other sports that get involved with us at the moment as well. And look, there's a Wayne Smith. You're familiar with Ross, uh, just striding along a little bit. Ah, uh, that was an interesting game, as I say. The, the pace of the game fell away a little bit in the end, didn't it? But I yeah. uh, can't can criticise anybody's endeavour. Both teams were willing to throw the ball around um, from deep inside their 22s, and uh, good on them for the... Uh, for the game that they provided for the sparsely populated <laughs> ground here in Waihe. I think there's more people outside the ground than inside the ground, but uh, who knows? No, I don't think there was any last-minute rush for tickets today, Ross. I think, uh, you know, that was all done and dusted with the announcement made earlier in the week uh, by the Tens Valley Rugby Union. Great venue to host the finals today, the HG Leach uh, Tens Valley Club Rugby Finals. Also want to acknowledge one of the other sponsors who have been a proud sponsor of Tens Valley Rugby, Murphy Buses, who do so much uh, for the rugby around the area as well. So to everyone associated with Murphy Buses, big thank you for your acknowledgement and support of... Um, Tens Valley Rugby, Club Rugby, Tens Valley Heartland Rugby as well. So just great to see and great to acknowledge all of those. You take a look across the field from where we're standing, the red and white dynamite, the stand. But the uh, handshakes, uh, the celebrations will be, uh, yeah, an indifferent one because they can't celebrate it with their fans here today. But I know the uh, winners, Waiho, will be celebrating watching this on the live stream. I think, uh, yeah, both, both teams had... Uh, um, their moments, but uh, quite a few mistakes, but that doesn't matter. It's uh, all about club rugby and celebrating grassroots rugby here today. And uh, it's great to see and uh, see Ted Engelbretson, the patron of Thames Valley Rugby Union, uh, is going to present the cup to the winning captain from Waiho. And uh, well deserved. We'll hand you back to the uh, wonderful team of CTAS while we have a bit of uh, something to eat. Thanks to uh, everyone who put the food together and drink while they'll zoom in and give you a bit of a shot of the uh, presentation. So enjoy for a little while. Uh, Reno and Ross will be back in a few minutes.